now that our Magisculpt is dry, now we're going to start the airbrushing uh, part, which is pretty much the last step. Uh, we're going to we're going to airbrush. Uh, I'm going to start with the super hide white because the primary base color on this on this Oryx is white, as you can see. And I'm going to start by filling in these like these bare spots and fly bites and stuff like that and just kind of patching that up and then I'll probably go in with some when I have while I have my white and my gun and mix it with a little bit of burnt umber and and uh, fill in a little bit of these these uh, reddish orange brownish spots and then I will go back with my Yox, which is the grayish black color, and I will do the finishing detail. But that's all I pretty much do with the on this form on, on this excuse me mount. Those are basically the three colors that I'm going to be using to just touch it up and finish it up. Because as you can see, it's pretty much already looks good as is when you do a nice clean job mounting we just want to bring it back uh, to life a little bit and freshen up and and give it life with with paint just to make it look good and alive at least I do there's a lot of taxidermists that don't even bother uh, airbrushing but I like to because I really think it's it's almost like applying makeup it I think it gives it that nice finishing touch so I'm gonna go ahead and start painting and applying these finishing touches and you can go ahead and watch. Now what's really nice about these lacquer paints is it doesn't adhere to the hair. So I can go back, once I have my paint applied, and you don't have to worry about if it gets on the hair or wherever you don't want it, because then I go back and with a toothbrush, I'm going to go back and start cleaning up, scrubbing on that hair, And as you can see, it's going to start cleaning up and that hair is going to start popping back out. 
So I'm only going to have paint on the skin parts where I want it. As you see, the, the nose here, so all this paint that had sprayed onto the hair parts around the area where I was working, that's going to brush right off. That's going to clean off the hair. So I'm only going to have paint on the exposed skin part of the mount. As you can see, that starts cleaning up really nice. And then I'm going to come back and scratch off with a tool or a small razor blade. I'm going to scratch off that paint that got onto that eyeball. And then we'll do our finished clear coat on the nose and we'll be done. I've airbrushed this mount and I've removed all my plastic pieces and as you can see all my spots that I wanted to ensure that they stayed flat are flat and it's nice and smooth now. Now what I'm going to go back and do and I do this with a little exacto knife a razor knife I'm going to go back and remove my safety strings from where I pulled through from sewing. And all I do is go, you want to make sure you don't cut the hair, but I'm going to go right underneath as close as I can to the skin and cut those out. Remember, I have one here in the neck and I have one up here at the top of the head. And I've just removed my cape threads. Now that it's good and dry, I can remove all that. I'm also going to use that razor or exacto knife to go and lightly take the paint off the eyes. And then once I've very carefully removed all the paint from the eyes and made them very shiny, I can go back with some Windex and shine them up. And then my very, very last step, which will finalize and make this guy all finished, will be to take my clear coat, and I just use like a Rust-Oleum gloss clear enamel. And I'm going to go, and I'm just going to... Uh, Put a light coat just to cut on the nose just a little bit, just to make it look, give it kind of that wet and finished look. Um, and, and then that will be it. This guy will be all finished.
I'm going to make sure there's no runs and that all my whiskers are out. And that's it. That's our finished Oryx. Thank you for watching us here at KNC Taxidermy. Remember to like and subscribe us here on YouTube and join us next time for our latest creation and we'll see you then.